that's very satisfying, isn't it? That's proper Robocop right there. Remove OS1, smartest gimbal stabiliser for GoPro, brilliant idea. How about that? I'm just gonna read it to you guys. Rainproof, uh, IP64 rated, wearable design, we like a bit of that, handheld design, wireless joystick remote, I love the sound of that. Yeah, that's beautiful. So genuine, proper, thick rubber case. You could chuck this bad boy around. The unzipping. Let it begin. Use a manual. Must read. I guess that's some kind of warranty, is it? Do not submerge. Because my stickers there. I have to put those on my skateboard helmet. Bits in here. I'm not sure what's in this section here. USB. Uh, oh, that's nice, little funky little charger unit. GoPro housing with some kind of side fixture on it. Little lanyard vibe. Oh, come on. You get a Hero 3 Plus in there, that's interesting. You get a GoPro with it. I mean, what, in the standard kit? You get a GoPro? I mean, I'm used to, you know, being PR'd, so when these companies send me stuff to review, there might be something extra in there so that I can make it work, for example, because I can't be expected to own everything that certain devices are meant for, but... On the screen right now, I'll be telling you whether you actually get a Hero 3 Plus or whether that's just for the PR pack. Oh, man, gorgeous, cold. Aluminium feel, look at that. Okay, let's try and work, work this then. Hey, hey, there was a click. Oh, that's very satisfying. That is very satisfying. Did you hear that click? Oh, that was tasty, wasn't it? Oh. There we are, that's it. Let's turn it on. See if there's any power. There's the power button. Yep, something's happening. The robot is alive! Oh, come on! Yeah, look at that! That is super cool. I just realised that the control um, grip here is, has also got a separate on button. Yeah, there we go. So now, I should be in a position to use the joint. There, yeah, 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 yeah. Check it, check it, check it. Okay, I'm gonna push down on the joystick. And down it goes. Up on the joystick. There we go. Lock. Lock. Oh wow, look at that! Can you see that what I'm doing is having very little effect on the aim of the camera? Slight movement, but it's massively, massively improved. This is a glorious, glorious thing. That was lock mode. This is pan mode. Yeah, look at that. We need to take this awesome bit of kit somewhere, don't we? and find a subject for it to capture. Let's do that. Coming through! Welcome back. So I'll carry on. So 
these guys, Union, hand roast coffee. In that machine. And apparently, uh, which is the best one? Get over there and have an Equinox blend. It's full of spring sunshine, apricot stone fruits. Fantastic. I love it. I love it. Let's go. Let's go in. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, though. Lovely shards of light just coming out behind you there. Right. Since that unboxing, we've played with the Removu in all kinds of different contexts. And I've got to be honest with you, if the PR asked for it back, I'd say no from my cold dead hands. It's staying in my camera bag. It's a great piece of kit and it's really good for things like mopping up nice swoops and passes over, you know, whatever it is that you're reviewing, a gadget or an object or, an, or a car, for example. It's also really good, obviously, for taking the wobble out of walking, running, going upstairs or on my skateboard. You know I do a lot of shots on this channel on my electric skateboard. You get a lot of wobble and the remote takes it out. The three basic shooting modes, lock, pan and follow, mean that you've got all the control you need for a range of different styles of shots. It's got a good weight to it, it feels really good in the hand and the build quality is second to none. It's not cheap, but I reckon it represents good value for money. If you've enjoyed this review, then please show us some love with a simple like or subscribe. It really helps. See you next time.